What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Super Gaff deck. Let's go. What's up guys? Welcome back. Sorry, I've been a little absent, you know, got a lot of things going on, but trust me, good things are coming. So, today, super gaff deck, a lot of people been requesting, do a gaff deck, do a, do a gaff review. A lot of people don't know about them, I want to know about them, blah, 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 here it is. So, there are a lot of gaff decks out on the market, okay, this is just one of them. This thing, look, these aren't cheap by any means necessary. I will leave a link down below in the description where I got this, which was on Amazon, and it was $20. Yes, 20 bucks. <sighs> anyway, so let's get into this. Top case here. We got red and blue on this side. They kind of flip-flopped them inside with the blue on the red side, red on the blue side. You see it. It says Super Gaff here, playing cards. It looks like your pretty much standard bicycle deck, just cut in half, separate, okay, and separate. The case can be almost used as a gaff itself, but this is what ruins it. I wish it might have said, you know, uh, rider back or something. That would have made it a little bit more, you know, better to use but anyway you got air cushion finish made in the usa just like your traditional rider back or standard decks united states playing card company there same thing on the back design split in half like i said you could probably use the back more so than the front as the split you know if you wanted to use it as like a a trick you know oh i got a blue deck blah blah i don't know whatever you can come up with Poker on the top, just like your standard as well. Same tuck seal. All right. The bottom, you got some United States Playing Card Company ad copy. And yeah, um, on the inside of the tuck flaps, you have a ten of spades reveal. I don't know why for a gaff deck you would put a reveal. Kind of weird, but like I said, I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, that is it for the tuck box let's look at the cards right so this deck <clears throat> excuse me this deck comes in red and blue okay red and blue i got mine in red i prefer red rider back cards when i use them not blue so i got mine in red but you can order yours in blue and what that means is same as anything the back designs of all the cards here, if they have a back design, which I'll show you what I mean, will have a red back. If you order them in blue, they'll have a blue to go with your blue decks. Okay? So, first things first, great card to use. You have the front design card. You can hide this in the thing here and make it look like a real red deck, which is amazing. Okay? Or... You know, and I'm not going to explain what to do with all these cards. I don't have that much time. But, you know, you can put a tuck seal, you know, take one very carefully, put it over the top. And you can do like a, you know, a little, you know, disappearing, you know, it's out the case trick, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. So, good useful card. Plus, it has a double side, which is the Queen of Hearts. So... You know, if you wanted to do something along the lines of putting it in, you know, force a queen of hearts on them. You know, you got the deck sealed and closed up. And you can say, for the first time, what's your card? And they'll say, queen of hearts. And you can act like you pulled it out the box. And there's their card. But, of course, don't show them the back. So, yeah, you're going to get that. Then you're going to get... Here, I'll flip these all over. You're going to get this nice four of spades, six of spades. So if you hold it here, it looks like the four of, you know, if you're, you got two cards, you don't let them see it. They're going to think it's the four of spades. 
same thing vice versa you can hold it this way and they'll think it's the six a lot of interesting things you can do with these cards there really is some of them are a little overly accentuated so to speak i guess a lot of them are kind of just like really that works on people but anyway kind of the same thing there's a lot of different ones like this you got your three of clubs and then little ace of hearts there on the side this one kind of weird you got this seven of clubs seven of clubs seven of clubs and then you got this three of hearts on the inside uh, like i said i don't know these do not come with directions so these are just for you to let your imagination pretty much run wild okay uh this one's pretty cool this is one i've used a lot you move you know act like you move the the pip around just like i said one of the things that i've used Here's another, you know, side-by-side -side one, so to speak. You got two of clubs, three of diamonds over there. Nothing on that side. Here you got a little mashup with the two queens. You got them next to each other. Okay. This one here, same thing, kind of. You could take, you know, four queens and, you know, their force card could be a queen of spades. And take all four and act like you mashed them into one. That could be something you use there. Like I said, you can come up with a lot of different ideas. This one's got the Ace of Hearts up top. And then the Ace of Diamonds on the bottom. Another interesting one you could use. This one here, same thing. Four of Spades, Four of Hearts. King of Diamonds, another side-by-side -side one. Kind of like the king or the Queen that we ju I just showed you guys. Uh, and these 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 come with about 54 to 56 cards too. So I actually added a couple of my own in here You know a couple of like a blank facer a double backer things like that just to have it um, This one here as you can see it's not your regular king of spades One he's got the sword here and then the sword coming across Which some of these you can just actually add to your regular deck, you know so That one this is an interesting one if you want to act like you know you got four twos sitting next to each other instead of actually having four twos or you know then hide it act like you got the ten of spades like I said there's so many different things you can do with these it's crazy uh, this one you got the nine of diamonds reveal on the front on a ten of diamonds card pretty cool this one's actually split in half you got the nine of hearts eight of spades this one you got the skull looking smiling king of hearts up top and then the regular king of hearts on the bottom literally the suicide king one time he's there and then he's dead so you get what i'm saying and then this one here one card is flipped over the only thing is i wish i don't know why this one's blue so it's kind of kind of weird i ordered a red one but they're all like this for some reason with the blue from what I've seen at least and then this one here this is kind of similar to the other one I was talking about uh, you know you can have it in a stack like this and then you know push it in like I said oh yeah and then this is a double-sided one this one's got the ace of hearts okay so uh, this one you can do like a kiss thing you know ten of spades whatever a lot of things you can do uh, this one's uh, two of hearts with the black heart pips, which is pretty, pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah. I'm sure there's videos you guys can watch. Here's a double backer. You guys are all familiar with double backers, I would hope. Then this one, you got the enlarged pip and indice over here. Regular on this side. You could do a cool, like, enlarged trick, you know. It don't matter. Use a magnifying glass, you know, different things. Um, this one, you have double queens, like I said, you can have it next to a card like this, and act like you really have them, and then, yeah, have the queens pop out somewhere else that you got them stashed, so, then this one here, you can, you know, blow smoke on it, or take a lighter after you force the seven of spades on them, and then be like, oh, look, ha, like I said, there's so many different things you guys can do with these cards, it's crazy. Uh, nine of spades here, five of spades on that side, nothing too, too crazy. Here's a double-sided one as well, king of spades. And then you got a 
half nine of hearts, half ace of hearts. This one's kind of like a mashup. You can take an eight of clubs over a king of diamonds and then like kind of like rub them together, I guess you could say. I don't know. Just giving you guys some quick, you know, snappy ideas. Jack of hearts with the head on this side missing, flip flopped. Uh, here's one you can do. Another idea I've done with one of these, I've actually bent the corner carefully on these so it looks like it was attached. But it's not, you know, now it's on this card, so it doesn't look so fake. Because if you look, I mean, it, people can tell, oh, that's just a fake printed card. But if you make it look a little real, with your own touch, you know, it could be an interesting gaff card, so to speak. Uh, here's a good one here, too. Ace of Hearts to the Three of Clubs. One-sided. Here's one you can do, you know, make it enlarge. Same thing, use a magnifying glass, something, I don't know. Uh, here's a cool one. You can, you know, smear it, whatever you want to make that looking effect. Nine of diamonds, eight of spades. Let's try to get through these a little quicker. You got the ace of hearts corner with the three of clubs body. Here's an interesting one here. This one's kind of confusing. I've never seen somebody use one, let alone know how to use one. Like I said, the only thing I can think of is you can do like a switch of some sort. You know, I, I don't know and have it come out red I, I don't know then you got blue black black red so like i said you can come up with many different ideas this one you got a pink back which i was thinking about adding this to my pink rider back cancer edition deck not sure yet really don't use it so i don't care uh here's another good one these two cards actually go together um it, can, it makes it look like you know the five rubbed off on the eight and now it's on there so pretty interesting this one here is another one that works good together looks like the seven came off on the five of clubs so you could take the five of clubs you know do something with the seven blah, 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 and then it's like oh or this way i should say rub it off and it looks like or you could take another seven it you know like i said there's infinite possibilities. There really is. This is another cool one. You can pick the card up and act like you rubbed the nine, the ink off the pips. One of my other favorite ones right there for sure. Here's another good one. Decent good one, I guess you can say. I wish they didn't add the watery look to it. That looks super fake, but could be a cool card. Uh, these are cool too. These are ESP cards. Um, they are double-sided. So... Another good one. You guys can do, you know, ESP tricks and stuff like that. Uh, they come with a lot of jokers, too. That's another thing. You got two of these jokers here. You got a blank face with a joker on the side. And then you have a double-sided joker. So that's four jokers there that you could use on some kind of effect, you know. And then we're getting down to the end here. You got a 21. Like, this is uber fake. Like, but cool if used in the right situation, I guess. You know, you could deal with somebody. You can act like you're dealing 21. But like, you know, hey, I bet I can deal you two cards. And I can beat you with one card if we played blackjack. They'd be like, no way. Be like, yeah, let's try it. Boom. You, you, you know, you deal them out two kings. They're like, I got you. Be like, yeah, do you though? I got 21. No? Okay, sorry. Anyway, let's get through this. Another one here. Get the five of spades on the two of spade or two of heart body. You know, you could do another one, you know, to where you you take it, run a lighter, you know, something, anything. A lot of craziness. Uh, this one, you know, it could be a, a weird effect. You know, they picked the five of diamonds. You could take it, you know, shake the living you know what out of it then give it to them and it's blurry you know um oh look sorry two more jokers actually no i take that back i added these in here so that's two i added um another one they added which is another double backer red on one side red and blue on another this is my favorite two cards in the whole deck here. This one's cool. You know, you force the king of clubs on them. You know, you take it and be like, want to see something cool? You do a nice little, you know, couple spins on it. And then you show it to them and they're like, what? You're like, yeah, see that? It's crazy. 
So another favorite, another one, force a nine of, you know, nine of spades on them. You take it without them looking, tap it on the, you know, on the thing real hard, then you flip it and show that the pips all fell down. Okay. So two cool ones, uh, double or a blank facer I put in there as well. Another cool one you can do a staged. Um, uh, shout out to Edward Toter. Uh, if you're not, you know, subscribe to him on YouTube, you don't know who he is. I'll put his link below. He actually just released a really good effect on the Cardini change. Um, this could be used very nicely on the Cardini change. You could do, you know, get a three of clubs, real three of clubs, put it on there. Um, do the change it's now missing all the pips except for the three do it again and the card is now blank really cool effect he's released it just now and it's on sale really cool effect never seen somebody do it like him it's cheap it's a good trick and it's great so I'll leave that below shout out to you Edward uh, anyway last one here this is a nice one you could do a seven of diamonds reveal with your thumb you know you could say oh is this your card and they say, no, no. Like, what was your card again? They say, oh, it was a seven of diamonds. Like, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see here. You take it and just. And it looks like you rubbed it off and there was a seven underneath. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, this is what a gaff deck consists of. I know, like I said, a lot of people have been requesting it. A lot of people have never seen one in, you know, or anything like that. They want to know what it's about. Um, if you do have any questions, leave it below in the comments. And yeah, that's it. Um, just a quick heads up. I don't want to drag this video on too long, but... I'm working on trying uh, trying to get another new camera right now, a new setup in general. A lot of people have been asking me why my audio sounds bad sometimes. Listen guys, I'm on a $600 Sony camera that has no kind of input for a third party mic. So I can only use the mic that's internal for the, the camera itself. That's why sometimes it sounds like I'm in a tin can. That's why sometimes it sounds like it's fine. So that's why. So I'm working on a new setup right now. Hopefully next week I should be all set to go. And the quality and vi the, you know, the audio will be so ridiculous it's going to be crazy. Also, I will be announcing my giveaway on this channel this weekend. There will be another three deck giveaway. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now because only subscribers win. That's that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the review, guys. You know what to do. Hit that like button, smash it, punch it, drop it, pop it. I don't care what you do, just hit it. It supports me and what I do. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, or don't. I don't really care. Just subscribe. That's all that matters. Also, if you want to follow me on any social media, you can. By going over to Instagram and following me at dysfunctional magician yeah right here also if you ever watch my latest video i'll put it right here check that out and i'll see you later